Hi everyone, Obi Abuchi here with the Revolutionize Your Mental Game tip of the week. And this week's tip is to think about how you want to be remembered. And it's actually inspired by my second son who turned 13 this week and what a joy it was to celebrate his entry into teenagehood. When he was about five or six, he was obsessed with the number 100 for some reason. And he used to say to me, Dad, you're gonna live to be 100. And I remember driving him to school one day and he said that again. And it got me thinking. It got me thinking about the end of my life. And what would I want people to say about me? What would I want my boys to say about me? What would I want my wife to say about me? What would I want friends and, and colleagues to say about me? And so I ended up writing my eulogy. I wrote my eulogy from the perspective of my boys and the perspective of my wife. Now I know that sounds a little bit morbid, but there's something about writing down how you want to be remembered that gives you a clarity about what you stand for and how you want to show up every single day. You know, Mark Twain said, let us endeavor so to live that when we come to die, even the undertaker will be sorry. If you want to tap into an energy, if you want to tap into a sense of purpose, if you want to unleash more motivation in your life as a leader, then take on board this tip and consider how you want to be remembered. I'd love to know how you get on. Have a great week and remember that if you want to be a purposeful, courageous and resilient leader, it starts from the inside out.